Hey everyone, I'm Ms. Malkowski, the mathematician, and today we are going to work on multiplication. All right, so we're doing 4 times 49. So we could do this in the way that we were taught, you know, in elementary school, where we do, okay, we have 49 and we want to multiply it by 4. Okay, so 4 times 9 is what, 36? Put the 6 down, carry the 3. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 plus 3 is 19, so the answer is 196, okay? And that's correct, and you know, there's nothing wrong with that, right? You can absolutely do it that way. But I have a question for you. Have you ever heard somebody say, oh, four times 49? Well, 49 is one less than 50, and four times 50 is 200, but then it's one less, and I did it four times, so 200 minus four is 196, and that's the answer. I'm sure at some point maybe you have, maybe you've even heard me do that in a video before. I do that type of stuff all the time. I don't ever really do it this way. Um, if it's something where it's one or two either side, or even maybe three, either side of like a really easy number to multiply, all right? So let's think about what's being done, okay? When somebody says, oh, four times 50 minus four. So let's come over here and we're gonna say, okay, we have four times 49. So now I'm just gonna rewrite that as four parentheses 49 because remember, when we have the parentheses here, it implies multiplication, okay? And let's think about another way to write 49, okay? So what if I wrote 49 as 50 minus one? 50 minus one is still 49, right? Okay, so now I'm just going to distribute. Four times 50 is 200. Four times negative one is negative four. Okay, so then we have 200 minus four, which is 196. So isn't that interesting? <coughs> Sorry, I still have that cough I was talking to you about before. So yeah, so here's just a kind of another way to think about it. Now again, some of you might be saying, I'm never gonna think about that. I'm not going to come up with that. You know, I just wanna stick to this or I just wanna stick to my calculator. And those ways are all absolutely fine. But sometimes, especially in higher level math, when we're dealing with more complicated numbers and quantities and variables, sometimes it's easier to illustrate something in another way so that we can simplify it more easily without needing a calculator, okay? So I always want you to kind of think about this anytime you're doing a problem. Is there another way? Can I illustrate a number in another way um, to make the multiplication, division, addition, subtraction easier? So there you go. Hey everyone, I'm Ms. Malkowski, the mathematician, and I hope you found that last video helpful. If you have any questions or if there are any topics you'd like to see me cover in future videos, definitely let me know in the comments below. Thank you again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'm going to leave you with the most important piece of advice I can give you, which is when you're doing mathematics, always ask why.